Hey, a full tank of liquefied coal. Excellent. buy paper, but now you will still buy books. So I'm up above cloud level. Uh-huh. I'm about to do something kind of totally insane. Okay. You're, you're gonna glide all the way f down from there? Yeah. Well, um, just be prepared to go in a circle if the world starts going away. <laughs> yep. There we go. Bought some books, so oh, he still doesn't want to buy paper. That's annoying. Well, at least we can sell him some more books. How is it? Yeah, that world's disappearing. Okay, cows. Let's breed you all. It's been a while. Okay, and then we will kill the ones with the cool hats. I did not quite manage to hang glad across an ocean. Okay. I think I would have if, if it hadn't been for the I'd, lag. If it hadn't been for the loading problem, yeah. I almost made it. I got a hat called Fool Hat. One more cow. So our oil generation system here is filling up relatively slowly. So I think I'm going to make another magmatic dynamo. I believe I have enough invar around to do that. Okay, what do we have for invar? We've got 27. Oh, we've just got 27 lying around. Well, is there any in here? Just one. Okay, so we're going to need 11, I believe. So, 10 more. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we're going to need a uh, redstone transmission coil, and we're going to need some invar gears, which I believe require iron in the middle. That's wrong. Here we go. Magmatic dynamo. Now we will stick that here, I believe. Hey, and it's facing the right direction and everything. And we just need to get some lava into it. The question is, is the leadstone energy conduit capable of taking the power? I'm not so sure it is. I may actually want to move this as soon as it's out of lava to, like, right above the magma crucible so it can be giving it power directly. I don't know that we, we may still be able to feed lava into it directly, uh, which I eventually want to do, but... Okay, well, that's good for now. So, I want to explore the possibilities of hiding 
my uh, rocket base in the base of the canyon near your house. So, to do that I would need a drawbridge, which I haven't messed with before. Let's see how much it takes to build a drawbridge. Drawing table drawbridge stores its inventory when harvested. Oh, interesting. Those are all from Tinker's Mech Works. Advanced drawbridge and extended drawbridge. Hmm. Let's just start with a regular drawbridge. Okay, so it requires aluminum brass, bronze, or Tinker's alloy, a blank cast, a dispenser, and redstone. Okay. And the dispenser requires a bow and cobblestone and redstone. Okay, so let's make the dispenser first. A dispenser. Excellent. Okay. And then we just need... The blank cast is... Oh, interesting. So that's made of aluminum brass. It's... Oh, okay. Hmm. Now let's get some aluminum brass melting. We all need a blank cast, which I think means we take this out of here and just empty the molten aluminum into here. I think that's what we do. Other things we want to put in our Galacticraft chest to take to the moon include the waypoint blocks, which I believe are upstairs. There they are. Okay, the waypoint blocks. Um, let's see, anything else that's up here? Stone hammer. Probably that one. The repair bench. The tool station it's called, yes. It's called repair bench in my notes. The hang glider, which is in my inventory. So I think I will remember to bring that. I should also make some more oxygen pipe. Probably at least two more sets of it and some more wire as well. Okay, looks like we have some aluminum brass and looks like we can make a blank cast with it. Except we didn't have enough. No, yep, there it is. Blank cast, alright. So. Take the blank cast, and we take the dispenser, some more redstone, and a bunch of aluminum brass. Did it wrong. Okay. The drawbridge. Oh, I see. It takes both aluminum brass and bronze. Okay. It doesn't take just aluminum brass. So, let's see what we've got in here for bronze. Got a bunch of extra compressed bronze. We can use that. I don't think we'll need that for the moon soon. I've already made most of the stuff we need for the moon. There we go, a drawbridge. Excellent. Now let's go somewhere safe, far away from our base, to use the drawbridge. Okay, so here we have a drawbridge. Place it down. Can we use this to uh, change it? Change its orientation? No. I wonder how we do change its orientation. Maybe we just have to place it correctly. Well, we're gonna we're gonna want it to go sideways for our purposes, so that'll be fine. Potato. I got a potato by breaking grass. Okay, there we go. There's the drawbridge. Okay, so. Oh, I can change the direction. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try it with planks. I guess I put a plank in it, and it looks like a plank. Okay, I see. So that's that's to make it look like something. Okay. So then, I suppose I probably give it a redstone signal. Oh, I happen to have a lever in my inventory. Okay. So if I put a lever there and turn it on, there we go. Then it builds a drawbridge. 
Looks like there is a limit to the length of the drawbridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So that's sixteen blocks including the thing itself. And then if I turn it off, it retracts. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is my cat growling. Peanut and Toshi are up here together. And they are fighting over stuff. Okay, so then I take the bug back out. So will it work with stone is a question. Okay, so there's some stone. We turn it on. It looks like stone. And it extends the stone. That's excellent. And then we switch it back. And it retracts the stone. And it's still stone. It didn't turn to cobblestone. Okay, excellent. I now know how to use a drawbridge, I guess. <laughs> so now I just need to make, I think, two more? Yeah. Okay. I also have on my list of stuff to bring to the moon some more wire and fluiducts. Let's see what we've got for fluiducts. We've got five. Probably make a few more than that. There we go. There's twelve. Two dispensers, two blank casts, two redstone, four aluminum brass ingots, and a bunch of bronze gives us another drawbridge. Now we've got three drawbridges. Excellent. Okay, I think it's time to head over your way and start setting things up. I've lost my waypoints again. Oh no. Have you? Uh, I'm not at home. Oh, uh, okay. I do seem to have lost my familiar though. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking for him. We'll see what happens. I'm retracing my steps, which is super thrilling, let me tell you. Oh yeah. So, it, it, it just wasn't there when you logged on? Yeah. Although, I realized I had not seen him for a while at the end of last time. Oh. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't go adventuring with your familiar. Yeah. Okay, so where do I want to put my space base? Over here, there isn't any sky, so that's not good. So I guess I'm gonna have to put it at the other end. Okay, let's see. That is probably the closest we have to already having Okay, so where is this compared with all the rest of your stuff? Hmm. Okay.
Oh, okay. Never mind, I know what that is. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it isn't. I think I may have found one of the other special gems that I need. Yeah, I found a Biomes of Plenty Peridot, which is different from a Project Red Peridot. That was one that I did not have yet. There we are, bedrock. Okay, so I think it's gonna need to be actually one wider, at least at the top so that you can get at the stairs. Okay, so that means... Oh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, so then these... Whoa! Ow. A little lag there. Drawbridges. There we go. And they will each be disguised as a stone and have four stone in them. Like that. Here we're gonna have to find a more secret way to do this. But. Hey, it runs all of them at once without even having to set up more than one lever. That's really nice. Walk over them, no trouble. <gasps> there again. he is. You found him. Yay! I mean, I found an owl. Okay. Is it Owl Capone? If you get close enough to me. It's Al Capone! Yay! I wonder if he like got caught in a chunk or something, because I didn't click on him at all. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Let's go home. And he came with me. Yay! Yay! Whoa! That was bad. Okay. Uh, I think something shot me. Something certainly knocked me off my nerd pole. Oh dear. And the nerd pole is mainly to mark stuff anyway, so I'm just gonna hide in a corner here and heal up, and then I'll just walk back up the stairs. I'll be able to see from my nerd pole where I'm supposed to do stuff. Hello, nerd pole. It's the wooden one? Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're here? You want me to show you what, what's up? I guess. Okay, so there's this hole in the ground you see here? I'm not all the way down yet. Okay. Hi. Okay, so in front of me here is this hole in the ground? Mm-hmm. And my secret space base is going to be down there. And when you okay. flip this lever... There we go. There it goes. So then you can walk over it like before. That's pretty fancy. Oh, there's Al Capone, yep. And I want to make sure that uh, that a 3x3 three three square of, of stuff is clear um, next to the nerd pole. OK, 
Okay, so over here ish somewhere is the nerd pole. Am I near it? There it is. Okay, so that means that here, there, okay, and there, and that should make for a three by three empty area. One, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way. Okay, cool. And now we take down the nerd pole. Whoa! Got me again. Whatever it was is still shooting up there near the top of my nerd pole. Let's see if I still have boots after all this. Okay, good I do. They didn't they didn't die completely. Get rid of the rest of that nerd pole with people taking pot shots at me. I guess I'll deal with that later, maybe in the daytime. In the meantime, gotta start making stairs here. Actually, a ladder might be neat. A ladder down to the. Yeah, I think I'll make a ladder. Okay. Should be oh hello there's a spider up there apparently when you kill pigs now you get both a raw pork chop and something called raw meat yeah I was getting that too last time I killed pigs farming pigs now too? No, I was uh, killing pigs to have um, raw meat to feed Al Capone so he could heal. Oh, okay. Aw, you're not a witch house, you're a dirt hovel. There's a dirt hovel? Yeah. Something somebody built? Somebody must have built it. Near your place? Uh, not like super near. Hmm. Sort of near. Well, you may have solved the mystery of who is uh, chopping down your trees. I don't know. Let's see if 12 more ladders is enough to get me to the top.
one short, really? Uh, oh, actually, it's more than one short. Never mind. Okay, so we're all, we need to make some more. That's fine. Oh, hello, town that has actual crops in it. Oh, where? Is anybody living here? Hello. Okay, so let's investigate switches. I'm sure there is some kind of a hidden switch, but I don't remember what it's called. It's not called a switch. Secret lever. That sounds right. Okay, so it takes camouflage paste and rotten flesh and a lever. Okay. And camouflage paste is... Dirt surrounded by a random dye. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Hey, camouflage paste. Excellent. Okay, and then we need some rotten flesh. And we're going to need the lever, so I guess we'll just go back and get the lever. Stone to fill in around the place. Probably also bring the, uh, where is it? There we go, the rocket launch pad. And the fuel loader. Go ahead and bring those over. This is a witch's hut that has not been raided. Okay, but is there a witch in it? There is no witch in it. No, nope, well, that's not gonna work then, is it? I got rowan berries out of the chest, though. Oh, nice. My rocket to crash because it hit a torch, though. <laughs> oh no, no! Whew. Okay, <laughs> that was that was harrowing. Hey, three was the right number of ladders. There we go. And this still opens and closes properly. Yes. Okay. Now we grab the lever. Okay, we'll see what a secret lever does. I think it was that, and then that. Secret lever, okay. 